so I'm back at it again with the my hair looks like crap when I'm editing my vlogs. I... Oh, zoomed in, stayed zoomed in. No, go out, zoom out, zoom out. No, no, no. There we go. Uh, yeah, it shows what kind of uh, top tier editor I am. Just checking on my undercut because I'm like, oh, it really was fresh from there, but still nice and smooth. But, um, yeah, go, like, go back to editing, I guess. So, hello there. It is now Monday, the 28th, and these bed boys are all packaged and ready to go. They are Patreon orders uh, for the Patreon Sticker Club. By the way, again, same as previously, uh, if you want to join later on in the month, you'll still get the sticker. I just, I like prepping for the people who have been here a while. So, we're all packaged and good to go and going to the post office tomorrow as well as a few shop orders because I put the new ghost pokes in the shop. And I also have these little miscuts. They're perfectly fine. They're just really tiny because my printer messed up. So I had it be a thing where like the first six orders of the specific shiny set for this, uh, they get a little tiny. Bennett threw it in. Bennett, Bennett, however you want to say it. Um, that's not a promo. Just I literally have these little stickers and I have nowhere to put them because... I'm not comfortable just giving them away, but I'm also not comfortable throwing them in the sticker mystery pack, so I was like, okay, if they buy the bundle for the shinies, I'll just throw this in there, too, so, yeah. I already packaged, so there's, like, three of them, so there's only three left, uh, but yeah. So, hi. It's 5.30 p.m. I finally got out of bed. I'm playing rank, um, because if you guys didn't know, I got the... I put enough money in the game that they're like, hey, you get the Mr. Smiley or the Eli skin, and I'm a Mr. Smiley main, so of course I picked his. But I made myself a very, very dirty latte right now, and it is delicious with my little pumpkin ice cube. So I'm very proud of myself that I made myself my own latte, and it is delicious. It looks disgusting because I put a lot of cinnamon in it, but lavender syrup, espresso shot, espresso ice cube, some milk, and cinnamon on top. It's delicious. I'm very proud of myself right now. So yeah, I'm just slowly starting up my day, because I went to bed at like 8 or 9 a.m. <laughs> so, good morning. I know you can't make it out, but it's a pumpkin cube. It's 5 a.m. I'm awake because of that little... And I was going to make myself a nice coffee because I have pumpkin cubes of soda and pumpkin cubes of coffee. And I have coffee in my fridge. But I'm like, you know what, no. I'm going to have a pumpkin Coke. It's not pumpkin flavor, we're going to just use my pumpkin cube. <sighs> because I feel like having something like Coke instead of iced coffee right now. So I'll probably still have iced coffee sometime later today, but... I'm tired and awake, so I want to become more awake. Uh, yeah. I got the baby! I... I... Okay, I did put money in this time. I put five dollars in. This was a, with a five dollar pull. I got... I got the baby. I got Clee. I'm so happy right now. I... 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 Uh, okay, I don't know if this character is really rare or not, but, like, I haven't done the basic blue gem pearl thing in a while. And I'm like, oh, I have ten of those stacked up, because I literally don't use them and I've been leveling up characters. But I I also got whoever whoever the hell this is. I, I hope you guys can hear this. It's literally June. It is still June. It is the 29th. And it's a nice night out for once, so we get to have our windows open, and there's fireworks going off, and it's 8 o'clock at night. <sighs> God. I'm so sick of these fireworks. We've literally, okay, since, oh, I can flip this around. Hopefully you can see me better. We've literally had these fireworks, oh, they weren't centered. It's weird being, like, directly centered. Sorry, you're getting a weird view. Um, we've literally had these fireworks going non-stop since the lockdown got serious. Uh, I don't want to say that the lockdown happened. It was like when everything started closing down and like stayed closed down. It's like a month or two later. 
And it's California, you know, the state that's always on fire in the summer. And I, I, I know why. I know why it's not illegal to have fireworks in this state. Because if it's illegal to have fireworks, you can't have fireworks at shows and theme parks and movies. And, and because that's why it's never going to be goddamn illegal. And it should be because we are a dry state and we catch on fire every year. And I hate it. Uh, I didn't used to hate it as much until the quarantine stuff because I later found out, and this isn't a conspiracy theory, it's a fact, at least out here, um, that a lot of the theme parks and a lot of the shows sold their fireworks to those, like, firework stands. So those firework stands that are usually only here in the summer have been literally open year-round, and they've been selling, like, hotcakes. So we get fireworks of some kind almost every single goddamn night. And we've called cops, and nothing happens, because I don't know who it is. <laughs> And it's so irritating and aggravating, and I I genuinely feel terrible for people who, like, have PTSD when it comes to fireworks, because normally it's like, okay, just July. Just July. Maybe a little of June, but just a lot, July. But I it makes me so upset, because it's, like, for me, it's irritating and aggravating, and it upsets my pets, but there are, like, people with actual, like, issues that it, I'm sure it, it, it f***s with so much more. Like, I've seen TikToks and shit of people talking about it. Of because of the quarantine, like people's PTSD has gotten worse because of the constant fireworks. <sighs> I like shooting off fireworks on the Fourth of July. I, I I really do not see the peel of boomstick all the fucking time. I just don't. I just. All right, so I know I'll make an official announcement on like a video, like an actual topic video, but there I am. I'm in it, boys. I'm going to Annie Manga. <laughs> They finally updated the stupid listing. I still don't know where my table is, but there's me. Oh. So the joys of running your own sticker business. So I finished these uh, technically, technically today, earlier in stream. Um, they were peakies done for my patrons. They asked for a Bones and a Cleo. I'm going to do Spoopy on my own because, I mean, if I they already wanted the two. I don't see why Spoopy can't be in the group. And when I printed off the Bones one... Now, that's that's a pretty chonkin' sticker, but I was like, okay, that looks pretty okay. It's a little on the bigger side, but that's not too bad. But then I printed out Cleo's that's the same size as the Bones one because of all of her hair. And I was like, oh no, this is this is way too big. That's got to be at least, like, um, I think that's got to be almost four inches. Let me add centimeters. Wow, almost on the dot of four inches, yeah. that's That's way too big for, like, a basic sticker. And so I was like, crap, okay, I gotta reformat them. So I'm lucky I only have three, I believe. Yeah, three sheets. Um, but I reprinted them and I reformatted them. Uh, I did a green hair version. I don't know if I'm gonna have this up in the store or if I'll just, like, throw these in random orders or not. But uh, Bones has both a blue hair and a green hair. Like how Cleo has multicolored hair, Bones only has blue or green, but... Just wanted to see if it would work. So yeah, here's the... This is the size I was looking for. For peaky. Because they're like tiny. They're little peakies. And they're not like the vinyl peakies you can put on a car. So I understand a peaky when they're big. This is more like a cute peaky. And so the Cleos came out so much better. They look so much darker on this camera. They look really, really nice in person. But yeah, so I like this. This is the size I wanted. So for these, because they're so much smaller, I'm thinking of charging just two fifty on my store. But they'll be two dollars in person, because again, it's the it's the nice weatherproof vinyl. But yeah, so uh, because I was able to fit so many bones on it, I only need like one sheet of bones for a while, unless these like sell out like hotcakes, which I don't think they will at the con. I mean, again, in the store, I'd be grateful if they did. But I know original stuff doesn't sell as much as fan art stuff does. So I mean, I don't know. I think they're cute though. So yeah. But now the problem is that I have the properly formatted size I need. I genuinely have no idea what to do with these. So I threw the package oh, so I threw the package away. But it is midnight on the first. But I hope you can make this out. I know it's dark, but it's because it's late. So it's a chandelier. Chandelier. Um my friend Sky gave me some money so I can get this chandelier wax seal because he is my baby. And I wasn't expecting this. Uh, Star Salts threw in a purple wax stick. So I'm gonna press this BB. I'm so happy. I was expecting to just get the little thing. I wasn't expecting to also get a stamp part. 
Now this I also bought. It's a microfiber uh, cleaning cloth for glasses, so I'm going to open this up real quick. But just, ah, oh, I was not expecting the purple stick. I was like, oh, what am I going to do? But now I have the purple stick, and now I'm very excited and just... <laughs> All right, so here's their business card. I also have their, uh, I'll at least have their Twitter linked down below. That's where I follow them mostly. But yeah, I really love Star, or Star Salt's uh, work. They're actually what inspired me to make my repeating pattern for my like horror movie series, because they've done it, and I want to get more from their Etsy in the future. Oh, it's embossed. I didn't realize that till I felt it, so yeah. But inside is just the, the Bahamut microfiber cloth, because I think it's really cute. And I also need a new eyeglass cleaning cloth, because uh, if my camera will pick it up, my glasses are always very dirty. So I'm here, trying to make a TikTok, and I'm trying to look for a specific Bo Burnham song, and what? why is that on the, the third recommended? Alright, how do I look? It's still very dark. I do apologize. As you can see, the sun's coming up. Um, my apartment's always very dark, but anyway, um, I just want to give you guys an update, because you're going to have some interesting vlog clips on the next coming-ish clips, unless something really interesting happens to me this Friday, so. Um, turns out... My phone's charging, right? Yeah, okay. So, I got two art fights done. My wrist hurts a lot. I also got some Patreon stuff done. But... Ooh, 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 panic, 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 that... So it is the second, and my sale did really well so far. So I'm going to go drop these off at my mail drop-off in my complex. And, uh, oh, it's 10 o'clock, so Cody will actually be home soon. But then I need to start my day, technically. I'm going to do some art fight attacks in my sketchbook for just traditional stuff. Because um, in my friend Anna's stream today, we were pretty much threatened to attack each other. Also... Okay, you can see the circulation getting off on my finger now on this thing. I found this Corber band, and I was like, ooh, it makes a cute ring. But then I realized on camera, not in person, but on camera, I'm like, ooh, I think it's cutting off the circulation on my finger, and I have a ring. It did it did not feel that tight. Well, all right, can't have nice things. Anyway, I'm going to drop these off, art fight stuff, relax, because my wrist still hurts from last night. But, um, yeah, I'm happy this sale's doing well. Makes me very happy pants. So to everyone who wants to come to California. Stay the f*** out. This is uh, the traffic. At 12.17 At midnight PM. on a Friday. 12.17 mm -hmm. p.m. And we are in dead stop traffic. Dead stop, yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Let me just check my map real quick and see <laughs> why. Did, I hate to be that guy, but did someone die? It's slowly moving, so it's not a dead stop. It is slowly moving on it's, that side. Well, as far as the uh, the map is concerned, for the next quarter mile, it is black. Black? I've never seen it. It's black? It's black. I've oh, never right. seen it black before. I've only ever seen red. We have now made it to the in-laws. And I am going to play more of the IDV anniversary event that's going on. I just need to get more keys. I ran out of keys, so... Yes, I have the Edgar Painter skin. Shh, don't judge me. So it is now 4 a.m. And I didn't bring my markers, so here are some art fight attacks I did. This one's for Anna, because I was bullied in her stream to do one for her, and she's doing one for me. So her stream voted that I do her character Lulu, and I love the owl mask. Um, I'm going to color it, but I have literally none of my markers with me, because I was like... I don't need to bring my markers with me, and now I'm here like, I, I want my markers, so. What do you know? You know, who knew, who knew it was Art Fight that got me into sketching my sketchbook? Because it's the last thing I did. Well, those were warm-ups. Don't, don't look at those. Um, on 6.13 is when I did 
my Corin sketch, the last thing, and then I just didn't know where else to stick this stuff, so I put some of my spare stickers I got from Starfish Face, because I don't know who that is. I know that's the guy from Critical Role Season 1, but I haven't watched it, and I do like Cast Off, and I like uh, her Cast Off print, and I thought the letter was cute, because I was like, huh, got my name. So, but yeah, so we have Art Attacks, my wrist hurts, but I'm having fun. Art Attacks for Anna, or Empress Kaiju. Art Attack for Charles V? Viv? Viv? I, I don't know how to say uh, their username, but they're a patron of mine, and they're one of the few people that attacked me, and so I wanted to do a, um, a rev revenge? I think it's revenge. Back. Um, the character they had when I color this, it'll make more sense. Um, I wanted to also fill this space, but the character they had, it's only a headshot, and, uh, she's got mushrooms growing out of her, so I'm like, alright, it'll, it'll, it'll match the character when I color it, because I'm gonna have the color match, it because, um, I'm gonna make hers all green, hers is red and green, so that, like, matches, and then this is gonna be an attack to Parzival, uh, of, of, uh, Will's, uh, unseely court dude, and I, I like fuck this a lot. It's gonna be so much cooler when I ink it, but I, I, I really like how this one came out. Because the only thing I had was like a true black marker and my inking pens. These, honestly, if I could, I, I would remove them. It was a better idea in my head because this character has um, like a little thingy in, in uh, their hair. And so it's got these little doodads on it. So I was like, I'm gonna do the doodads and then I'm gonna do them. And then I'm like... <laughs> I don't like this very much, but you know what? I think I can make it work. I, I think what also helped is like it's 4 a.m. and I like it don't give a more. And I'm like, wow, who thought not giving a fuck? Do the line weight in the necklace and I'll do it later. Who thought not giving a fuck would make it to where I love it? It looks so good. No, but since this character's green and this character's red and green and this character's green. I need to find a red character to attack. So, I'm gonna rest my wrist though, and I think I'm gonna watch Howl's Moving Castle. Because I have it on my Amazon, and that's a smart TV. And if they don't have the stupid soundbar on, then I can listen to it at a normal person's listening. But for some reason, they like putting that stupid soundbar on, and they set it to the max, and I, I don't know why. I don't know why. All right, so yeah, the stupid sound bar is on, and it's really loud, so I'm just gonna watch it on my iPad. Uh, it's not the same, but whatever. Okay, so I'm watching Hell's Moving Castle, right? And I have not seen this one in years. For the longest time, it was, like, my least favorite Ghibli movie. Granted, I haven't seen all of them, so my list isn't as high as, like, other Ghibli fans, but I clearly have not watched this in so long. Because I completely forgot about the war aspect, which is going to be like, the heck, did you even watch the movie? I did. I watched it in high school. It came out when I was in high school. But I was like, eh? And I think I really wasn't in a good spot to, like, actually absorb it. And for the longest time, I feel I felt like such an, like a weirdo that I'm like, why is this so many people's favorite movie? Well, you know what? I'm 28, and I finally get why. This movie's bomb. It's great. Not literally with the war metaphor, but... Alright, so I just finished the movie, and I needed to re- like, go back and check something. Because I, I caught the thing at the beginning of the movie when they're like, oh yeah, there's a missing prince, and I knew it was turn of head. But I was like, wait a minute. I know this is dumb, again, for people who are Ghibli fans. They've done this for years. Let me have my moment. He was looking for her with the ring. <laughs> <sighs> so Michelle wants me to do one of these things, too, I guess. Um, people like having you on them. They like having you on them. Hmm. Well, anyway, so I had a pretty fun day. Uh, it's Fourth of July weekend, and um, we had uh, a friend of mine come over. Um, so I was working on my truck all day, um, getting, I'm basically finished, should be finished actually, it's completely done. Oh, you finished it? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. yeah I was going to ask about that. Got everything working. Yay. Um, all the windows work and it shifts and drives. Anyway, so, 
I was getting my truck fixed, and because I'm giving it away tomorrow to a kid who is cool and deserves it, and his parents basically wanted me to, well, they bought the truck off me, but they're giving it to him. So we're doing that, and my buddy calls me and says he rented a supercar. Um, so if you know what an Audi R8 is, it's one of those. Um, Entry-level supercar, fun thing. Um, so we just went out and did that. Uh, and who boy, did I... Not expect how fast that car could be. He wants one now. I do. Of course, I want every car that ever yeah, existed. You want every car. <laughs> but Jesus, that thing was freaking awesome. Um, I mean, I've driven in faster cars. I've built faster cars. But the ability for that thing to corner and drive was astonishing. Um, so, yeah. It was fun. It was cool. I now have to figure out how I'm going to afford a like $100,000 supercar because, God, they're so freaking cool. But yes, he has ruined me because yes, it was. And because we don't have that kind of money. No, so I, it's not. I don't have anywhere close to that kind of money. <laughs> but he rented it on like Turo, I guess, and so it was like an app you can just rent cars from. So it's kind of cool. Ironically, I went on the app right now, and I was like, because he wants to go buy one, mm -hmm. and he's like, we should rent another one and go buy one in. So basically, buy an Audi R8 while driving one. Mm -hmm. And so I was looking it up, and the guy, the first one that came up is the one, of course, he rented. I'm like, well, well I f it, I'll just go rent that one again. <laughs> so, but anyway, yeah, that's my day so far. Tomorrow we're going to go to a party and do Fourth of July stuff, but mm -hmm. it should be pretty fun. It was a pretty entertaining day. Michelle slept all day. Insomniac. But I did, because now you have better light. I got three art fights done. Mm. Yeah. I am the queen of the darkness, so, um, I'm trying to film in front of a window, hopefully that helps, maybe, um, it is 6am on Monday the 5th, and, um, I didn't get any vlog clips, you might be wondering why, you said you would. Uh, turns out there were a lot more kids at this party, and by kids I mean like kids like ages 8 to 9. And because of that, um, I no longer felt comfortable vlogging, because there were, like, there were a lot, I was under the impression it was going to be like, so these friends we had the party with, um, we've had parties with them before, but, uh, I didn't know there were gonna be like a bunch of teenagers there because there were there were like five or six teenagers all ages like fifteen to sixteen, and their parents, and then there were the young kids, and so all of a sudden I felt extremely uncomfortable, you know, filming because I don't want to just pull out a camera and then people be like, oh, it's for a home movie or something, and then you know find it on the internet. So that'd be weird, and I don't want to have to explain what I do to a lot of people. I know that might sound really weird, but, like, these people are, like, <laughs> this is gonna sound so, like, so edgy, but, like, they're normies. Like, hella normie. Like, um, I didn't really get to relate to, like, a lot of, like, adults at the party, because they were normies. They don't like nerd stuff. They don't like any of the stuff I do, so I was just kind of, like, there, you know? Um, which is fine. It's just been a long time since I had, like, a, a something like that happen. I had a blast. I had a lot of fun. I'm really tired. Um, like really, really, really tired. Um, I had a lot of fun. My muscles are very sore because I'm very much not used to swimming and playing as long as I did. Um, but yeah, it was a lot of fun. I uh, got to swim a lot, which I loved. I got to break in my new bathing suit a lot, which I loved. Um, I didn't get to show you guys on camera, so I'll probably show you later on in the week. Um, what my swimsuit and stuff looks like. Because <sighs> I, I really like the ensemble. I think the ensemble's really cute. Um, but, um, yeah, I'm just going to take it easy for right now. I guess in the next clip I'll talk more about the party. Cause... Okay, so, oh, no. Uh, can I zoom out? No, nope, that's just... Wait, is it zooming in or zooming out? That's zooming in. Okay, well, that's all you're going to... That's as far as you can get. So, um... 
yeah, I can I can finally talk now because I didn't uh, get to earlier because I was like tired and it was dark. So still at my in-laws in the uh, the art room. Uh, my muscles are very sore. So um, yeah, if you don't want me to listen to me ramble, um, I would say skip until like this scene is done. I don't know how long it's gonna take. And editing me is always bad with timestamps. So. Uh, maybe in the description down below I'll actually be smart and I'll like put like a chunk of like hey here's my ramble of my recap drinking some fruity punch um am I a real youtuber now I like I'm into vlog so like who cares anyway um I know you care because you're watching it and like I watch them but so my hair's also messy uh, I can't do anything until I get home and I use shampoo and conditioner because everyone in this house only has shampoo. Okay, I don't know what it is with some guys. Sorry for men out there. But there's so many men I know that, like, just use shampoo. They, like, don't have conditioner. I know my hair is thick, even though I, like, you know, with my undercut, I only have, like, this much hair on my head. But it's very thick. Very thick bitch. So, anyway, let's recap my fourth. So, uh, I woke up at 5. And now my sleep schedule is back around to being kind of normal. Which is hard because you guys have no idea how tempted I am to nap right now. Because I'm just like, I'm, I'm like really relaxed and really chilled out. But keep looking at the viewfinder. I need to look at the lens. I'm really bad about that. Sorry, guys. Um, it's, it's, it's so hard. Anyway, so um, I woke up around 5 a.m. after only taking about like a nap. Um... And I call it a nap because I, uh, some stuff happened when I get into it, but like all my energy just tanked in the middle of the night. So I was able to get some sleep. I got like maybe three, four hours. Not good. Don't recommend. But uh, I could not get back to sleep for the life of me. So I just kind of chilled out. I did more of my art fight stuff, um, which I'm really excited when I get home. Uh, my plans for Tuesday are pretty much going to be packing orders from my store. Because I still have my sale going on until Tuesday, right? Yeah, I'm sure it's until Tuesday. Yeah, because it's the 5th. So until Tuesday, that's when my sales are going up. But, um, so I'm going to pack those orders if I got any more over the weekend. Um, and then I'm going to do video editing. Nothing hard, no audio or anything. Just, I'm going to start putting some clips together for things. And, um coloring uh did he put it away he did not coloring my uh art fight attacks because i did a couple more digital ones today but yeah i have this one i need to do i need to color and then i have these four so i have the chibi for anna i have the split head for charlie because these are like all people i literally know um I have the mushroom guy, I have a fungi for uh, Tiffany, and then, which she doesn't know about this, so by the time the vlog goes up, she's already going to see the picture. <laughs> uh, and then I have uh, Parzival's uh, unseely fey character dude. Really like how these come out. Once I'm done, once I color all of them, I'm going to remove the washi tape so it should border it for me. And then, like I said, I have... I have the, the one chibi head. I'm probably going to just fill this space with something else. Like, I'll wash it, tape it off again and work on it. And then this side's going to be like a stick to something because I like putting notes in my sketchbooks because they're sketchy books. But, um, yeah, so that's my plan for Tuesday. Very chill day. I'm, like, really excited for it because I'm still really sore. Anyway, I've been rambling off for four minutes about that. Let's talk about what happened on the 4th. So, woke up at 5 a.m., did some stuff, did rank, hung out, chilled. Um, Cody and I got a lot of stuff done. We ended up, because uh, Cody's parents were supposed to have a 4th of July party, and that ended up blowing up in smoke for them, and I do feel bad about that, because I've always found that really rude, really rude, when you're planning a party for a big chunk of people, and, like, they cancel last minute. It's, I, I've had it happen to me. Especially when the excuses are dumb, because they told me the excuse they had, and the, the excuse was dumb. It very much was an excuse. I will never, to this day, fully acknowledge this, I will never, to this day, understand people who do not just, like, if you don't want to go, just say you don't want to go. I, okay, I would rather tell somebody, hey, I'm not feeling good, hey, I really wanted to go, but now I'm tired, I have a headache, or da-da-da, or, you know... 
when I said I was okay to do it, now I'm not. Rather that than coming up with an excuse, because the excuse was, and I think I'm kind of saying this, because it was supposed to be like um, a family member of Cody's other dad's family um, that they haven't seen in a long time, and he was like going to bring like all his kids. They spent all this money on like soda, juice, water, bunches of food, um, and a bunch of their friends, like like the other family's friends. It was a, it was about to be like going to be like twenty people. It was going to be a big event. Literally all of them last minute, like one of them was like, oh yeah, I lost my phone a week ago. And they called an hour before they were supposed to be here. Cody and I were not here. Um, I'm like, yeah, I, my, my phone was in my friend's car. And uh, so we're not, we're not gonna go. Sorry. Yeah. Like, blah. And I'm like, that sounds so bad. Just say you didn't want to go. And don't do it an hour before the party, like, you're, before you're supposed to be here. Especially because they live far away, so it's not even like, oh, they called an hour because it takes an hour to get there. Like, they were supposed to be there in an hour, okay? But, anyway, so, we didn't know about any of that until literally to this morning, um, on the 5th. Yeah, it's on the 5th, I'm brain, still kind of derpy. So, we ended up earlier, back to the 4th, bouncing around. Hope you guys don't mind. Um... Woke up, did my, like, ITV rank, Cody and I got coffee, we got propane for his father's, um, helped out around the house, we all had breakfast, really good breakfast, I had some delicious bacon and eggs, it was great, glorious, um, and then, uh, we decided to leave early, Cody told me that the party was gonna be around, like, noon to one, like, starting time, but I was like, eh, I'm kind of not doing anything. I want to leave at 11, so we left at 11. Turns out the party wasn't until 3, but that was good because um, we got there really early, so it was just the family and still set up. Because um, they had a pool. They have a pool at their house. And it's a nice-sized pool for a small party. This was a big... There was a lot of people here. I was not expecting that many people to be there. They didn't... I, I wasn't prepared for that. Um, but, so we got to go in early and, like, have a lot of fun in the pool and have a blast. We got to hang out with, um, my friend's, uh, kids. Because their kids love me and I, I love them. And, like, I've, I've gotten permission to vlog them from the mom. Because she's my friend. But I'm not comfortable with that. I've, I've been over this. I don't like the idea of, like, kids on the internet, you know? Um, if it happens, it happens. But I think it's really different. Especially when we're all just kind of, like, hanging out and having fun. Um, especially when, like, yeah, so, yeah, uh, I was like, oh, it won't be that bad. I'll, I'll vlog random clips here and there. Uh, turns out a lot more people brought a lot more kids than I was expecting around that age range. There were a lot of teenagers there. And so because of that, I'm like, you know, now I'm really not comfortable doing this vlog, even though I'm having fun. Uh, because, again, I just don't like the idea of putting kids on the internet. Um... But uh, the party got, like, really rowdy and really fun. Keep in mind, like I said, I've been up since 5 a.m. And I might come off very extro extroverted, but I'm that kind of introvert where I'm extroverted around people I know. So, like, I tired of social media. media so by, like, 5 when the party started at 3, I was already, like, all right, kind of done. So I just kind of hung out with some of the kids. I drew a lot. I get, a I get along with kids really well. Um... We were talking about game stuff, YouTube stuff, like, you know, because they like game YouTubers and stuff like that, and drawing and stuff like that. Went in the pool a couple more times, played a couple more games. I am, like, covered in bruises on my legs because of, like, the rough housing and stuff. Had a lot of fun. Uh, didn't end up drinking, actually. I was going to. They had a lot of alcohol there for the adults, but I was like, mm, I don't know how I feel about that. Um, so I had fun. Cody had fun. But uh, I, I apologize to a couple people because I'm like, hey, I'm sorry if I seem like really rude and like not talking to adults about stuff because I know it's that weird because I'm almost 30, but like I constantly forget what it's like to be around like normal adults. And by that, I mean like non nerdy adults because um, that was most of the party was a lot of my friends, adult friends and their kids. So they're talking about like their businesses and their mortgages and stuff like that. And, like, uh, like a couple of them were talking about refinancing and stuff. And they're like, oh, yeah, what about you? I'm like, I live in an apartment. I'm still I'm self-employed. Still and they're like, what? Me too. And we were talking about that. But then it was, like, very different. Um, not in a bad way. Not in a bad way. It's just, like, you know, when you talk to other self-employed people that aren't, like, freelancers or artists in any way, 
it's a little harder for people to like comprehend because like oh what do you do i'm like oh i'm a freelance illustrator cartoonist that's like oh so you do cartoons you do animation i'm like no like caricatures and stuff like that and and, and freelance um I'm like i've done a couple assets on stuff that still haven't come out yet and i wonder and da and i'm like <laughs> can you please please post it i really want to post the work i did on that i'm really proud of that but the choice of NDA work, am I right? So, uh, like this one lady was telling me all about like her, um, her like cleaning business that she runs from her own stuff. And then she's like, what do you do? And then I was like that. And then I show my stuff and they're like, that's cool. You did that like by hand, you, but by hand. And I'm like, yeah, my, my hand drew it, but I did it on a tablet. They're like, oh. you know, it's, it, those kind of adults, like, which Again, I feel weird saying, but it's like when I meet other adults that are nerdy my age, it's like, I mean, we get, we get it, we get it. But then when I meet normie adults, I feel, I feel weird saying normie. I swear to God, sometimes I feel like I'm still in high school with like, because I, I don't know how else to describe it. I'm like not nerdy adults, but then I'm also an adult, so like not nerdy people. Then when I say that, it also feels weird. So anyway, it's 11 minutes. I'm rambling. But yeah, so we had a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, like I apologize to people. I'm like, hey, I'm just been up since 5 a.m. I'm like tired. And they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was getting my kids ready. And I'm like, yeah, I don't have kids. Oh, sorry. Which was funny because a lot of people are like, yeah, you're so good with kids. Why don't you have kids yet? And I'm like, kind of, kind of the only reason right now. Um, but we had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun. Very sore, very tired. Got my son in for like the month, you know, being the vampire that I am. And I'm just kind of chilling today. Like, Cody's working on his car right now because he had to change the power steering fluid. But, um, yeah, I've just been working on some more Art Fight stuff. I sketched up a couple of Patreon rewards because those have to get done by the end of this week. But the week's just kind of starting. I mean, at this clip, the week's already done because this should be going up on Friday. Um, fingers crossed. But, yeah, yeah. So I'm just taking my time and just chillaxing. <laughs> Honey? Oh. You yeah, anything you want to say? Tired. How do you feel about today, the fifth? Tired. Alright, so we're home. I'm working on the coloring those art fights. Oh. Really love how this come out. I'm pretty sure once this page is done, it's gonna be I'm gonna take a photo and it'll be like when I eventually finish this sketchbook in a long time. This'll be like the cover for it, because I really like how this spread looks. But, uh, as we're home... <laughs> so, hi. <clears throat> you ever have your day go from, like, zero to 10,000 in, like, record time? Because, um, that's been me literally in the past two hours. So, um, I'm whispering because, uh, it's, it's, it's 6 a.m. I've been up since about uh, 2 a.m. I've been just working, packing orders, doing fine. Um... We're just gonna go down a list of how terrible my morning has been in the course of a few hours. And, um, I really think, and I mean this, I really think that my ancestors must have pissed off somebody. So, uh, things were going great. Got a nice chunky paycheck. I was really excited. So I paid all my bills and I checked all my bills a couple days ago to make sure they all went through. And they all did. And I was like, okay, great, great, great. And I checked my um checked my bank and they they went through and it was all good. And I'm like, ooh, I've got like a little bit of extra money for once. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get a treat from my husband. Because he never gets treats. And so I got Cody this treat. That was it. That was all. Like, you know, and granted, I bought myself some gems and IDV. Not that much money. Not a big deal. I am then like, okay, still got some good months. Uh, I'm gonna get some groceries because we have like no groceries. We have no milk. We have no eggs. We have all of our vegetables are borderline bad if we have any left. Um, we need groceries. So I was like, okay, just get the basics, you know. Uh, normal $150 order because I live in California and I hate it. But it'll last us a while, so it'll be okay. It'll be okay. So I buy that. In the cor in the course of an hour, in an hour, mind you, um, suddenly check back and my balance is in the red. And there's money taken out of my savings and there's money taken out of my tax money from my account because of overdraft protection. And I'm like...
What? So, um, double check and uh, all those bank payments, uh, just, they weren't pending, they weren't anything, just decided I'll take it out right now. On top of that, uh, surcharge, the other stuff. So, um, I spent, I, I spent about a, s give or take, $600 in under an hour. I'm not happy. I'm, I'm not happy. Um, and then I go to my Etsy, and my Etsy's like, oh, well, you made 160 And I'm like, okay, at least there's that. I'll request it now. Available for deposits, $42. And then, and then I'm like, well, damn it, I am boned. Um, I am hardcore boned because the money's gone. It's just gone now. And I had the money, but it took it out of my savings and my tax money, so... You know, I'm not, like, flat broke. But I'm like, hmm. And Cody doesn't get paid until two weeks from now. And I still have to prepare for the con, you know? So I'm like, oh, I'll open up some quickie commissions. You know, I really, really don't want to, but um, don't have any other options right now. So uh, I do that, and I get two messages right away, and I'm like, oh, thank God. Great. Bless. Good. Um... And they don't have PayPal emails. And they're asking me if I'll take DA points. So, um, I'm going to go jump off a cliff and try to figure out what to do um, in a day. Because I still have to ship out those orders that were charm orders. Because I can't just put stamps on them. So, I'm... I'm, I'm very upset. I'm, I'm little upset is, is borderline. I am very, very angry. All right, so update. I am in so much pain. I literally feel like that Bo Burnham shit song right now. Um, so it's the 7th of July. And um, I am still in a lot of pain. I've been to a doctor, and I got medicine for my ear, and um, it literally just feels like water sloshing around in my head. I can't chew. I can't eat. Hi, quick editing me here. Um, I realized I didn't talk about it in the clips between that. So, bank stuff got situated, in case I don't bring that up in my rant clip of me being in pain, but um, I thought I brought it up, but uh, ever since the 4th, um, I had a mild earache, but it was mild, very mild. But on uh, the 7th, the day that um, I recorded this very painful rant and ending of the vlog, um, my ear was in so much pain that I had to actually go to the doctor. My neighbor had to drive me to the doctor. So um, at the time of doing the recording now, it's the 9th for me editing this. Um, the medications worked, just the heads up. But I, I'm keeping the rant in just because it's I'm ending it off there. So my medication is working, I am feeling a lot better, and normal videos should return to normal after uh, this. Yeah, so thanks for a little edit, me. Uh, boy. Uh, I can drink stuff, that's about it. Anything where I have to even remotely, like, chew like that. Excruciating pain. Um, I'm told the eardrops are working because it feels like acids going in my ear every single time I do them and I feel more liquid in my head now compared to just a blockage. So I'm told that's a good sign. But the pain's not getting any better. I have to take uh, painkillers and stuff. Over the counter, obviously. They didn't give me anything like, strong. But uh, I was told that if this keeps up tomorrow, like I'm at the same level if I'm not better tomorrow then I have to go in on Friday to have like a doctor actually look at my ear because it was over the phone um but yeah i am i am miserable i am in pain um i got the money thing situated with my bank though so like that's a plus uh i still had to pay all of it so you know that sucked but i didn't have to do overdraft fees so at least there's that so um i opened up for some quickie chibi commissions but i already let the people know that I already paid um, cause they're not open now, don't ask, I'm sorry. I, I took as many as I could. Um, 
I let him know about the ear thing. All, all of them were like, oh, it's cool. Ow. Every time I have even a slight, like, gassy or movement or yawn, I literally feel like a, like a bubble go through, through my, like, like, total side of my face into my ear and it just, like, it's literally, like, thousands of needles just stabbing me into my eardrum right now. So, yeah. Um, I'm thinking of ending the vlog here. I know it's really depressing and I'm in pain, but... I literally don't know what else I'm gonna do. I, I literally can't do anything. Drawing hurts, playing games hurts, reading hurts, editing stuff hurts, like, like just existing hurts right now. So, so because of that, um, I'm just gonna end it here, try to edit the vlog, and uh, I'll still vlog throughout the week, obviously, um, where I can, like especially when I do the doctor's visit and stuff, if it doesn't get better. Hope to God it gets better. I can't. I still have to do the con crunch, my rewards, and buy printer ink. I'm just, I'm not happy. I'm very much not happy. I'm really upset. Uh, it's actually taking a lot out of me not to, like, just scream. Because, like, that's the level of, like, pain I'm at right now. Because I have so much stuff I have to do and I literally can't do any of it. So, uh, for anybody else who's ever experienced that, I, I, I feel you now. I mean, I always kind of have. I live with chronic pain, but when you have had it your whole life, it's kind of, you kind of get used to it. This, this is different. So, also sucks. I had a great time. So, it's like, oh, I got punished for having a good time. You know, it's stuff like that really makes you not want to do fun stuff anymore. Because then you're like, well, I get punished if I have fun. It's a terrible way to look at things. You shouldn't look at things like that. But that's definitely how I feel right now. So, yeah, I'll see you guys next next week. Bye.